Hey everyone, this is Thomas with SketchUp Architect and in this video I'm going to show you how we can create a fence in SketchUp using the Valley Architects plugin. So if you're ready to draw some fences, let's get started now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, make sure we have the Valley Architects fence plugin right here. And if you uh, want to know where you can find that, here's the website right here. And um, Valley Architects has several architectural plugins for SketchUp. And um, I've only used a couple of them. And the ones I've used have been very good. So I love using this. And hopefully you'll see why in this video. So let's go ahead and minimize that. And here we can see this is our fence plugin. And so how do we draw a fence, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use the line tool. And let's go ahead and just start drawing some lines for where our fence is going to go. And let's just go ahead and kind of wrap it around our property line here. And we'll go ahead about there and stop it there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to make all these lines into one group. So I'm going to select all these lines and I'm going to right click and say uh, make group. And then I have it selected, so I'm going to go ahead and open my uh, fence toolbar here. And here it gives us, again, if you've seen the roofing uh, uh, video I did before, you can see it's very similar. So we can select a couple different options here. We can select uh, the fences in the model. Um, here it gives you banisters, uh, uh, metal fences, wood, glass, and also railing. So if you're dealing with railing, it's a, usually a different height from fences. So uh, it gives you lots of different options. So let's say uh, for this one, I want a wood fence. I'm going to click wood fence and uh, we'll just leave it create new because, um, um, well, actually I'm going to select a preset. So in order to open that, I'm going to click here and here it opens up all my preset options for my fences. So I can select any one of these and I can also modify these but it's it's uh, some of these are I think they're great just as they are but we can also change them up so let's say if I, I click this one here vertical board one and I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and here I can change some of the parameters so if I click here here gives me a lot of different options that I can uh, adjust the post uh, the height of the post the width and again, here we see the previews of what it's what it's uh, doing, uh, the max spacing of each post, um, just the post rotation aligned with fence. So just lots of different options that it gives you to modify your fence to your liking. So I'm going to leave it as it is, and I'm going to click Make Fence. And let's see what happens. Now it's, here it's asking us pick an offset point on the side for fence to be drawn. And I'm just going to pick a point outside. And here again, we see it gives us the overall length of the uh, fence, how many posts we have, uh, the rail length. So a lot of interesting information. If you're actually uh, uh, building this project out, you can actually get it down to the exact number of posts you're going to need, etc. And there we go. So we've created a fence. And again, we can we can move some of these items if we want to, just to get them off the walls a little bit. Uh, you can just everything's in a group so it makes it really easy to manipulate and also we can you know add our materials let's say if we're adding a wood material to it um, you, know, you can just apply that to everything so very easy very easy to work with and um, let me show you one more thing and that's how we can um, do it you know many different types so let's let's draw a different type of fence and I lost my group there so I'm gonna go ahead and undo all this and let's click it again and let's go to fence and let, now let's do a, a metal fence so here I'm gonna go to fence metal and again now it gives us a whole different set of options for metal fences so let's do this one let's say pool fence we'll click on that and again you know if we wanted to change the parameters we can do that now here's one thing to watch out for it says drop to terrain yes or no and uh, sometimes uh, this can affect your model your your fence so let's click no this time and see what happens and click OK and actually I guess it didn't mess it up but if you ever have a problem where your fence is like shooting up uh, vertically or something just uh, adjust that parameter there 
where it says uh, drop to terrain, yes or no. Um, usually if it's on yes, that's when it'll follow your line and it just it starts doing some funky things. So maybe uh, sometimes you won't want to keep that at no. So it just, um, just depends on you know your settings of your, your land. So anyways, I hope you like this video. I hope you uh, see just how beneficial this program is uh, this plugin for SketchUp don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already click on a subscribe button and click on that bell so you'll be notified anytime a new video comes out thanks and I'll see you next time